Two hospitals built in 16 days. How does China combat coronavirus? Since the outbreak of the novel coronavirus in China, Wuhan, epicenter of the epidemic, had seen a large number of new confirmed cases every day. More patient beds are in urgent need. Two hospitals, Huo Shenshan and Lei Shenshan, have been built in 16 days to accommodate 2,600 beds in total. Covering an area of 115,000 square meters, the size of 16 football fields. How did China turn a piece of open place into an infectious disease hospital? It is the work of many companies and workers across the country. In addition to 15,000 construction workers, China State Construction, together with about 40 state-owned enterprises and over 100 private enterprises work day and night for building telecommunications, power supply, material supply, transportation, and logistics. The designing staff came up with a plan within 24 hours and finalized the draft within 60 hours. Hundreds of excavators, bulldozers, and other large-size machinery gathered at the site in five hours, reaching nearly 300 in one day worked overnight for three days and bulldozed more than 50,000 square meters. Telecommunications companies completed 4G and 5G signal coverage in 36 hours to meet the needs of remote consultation. Over 60 workers took turns to work 24 hours, laying more than 30,000 square meters of high-performance anti-seepage film to ensure that sewage and waste cannot infiltrate into the soil. More than 260 workers of the state grid worked around the clock to complete the electricity construction. The 1,650 sets of container rooms all adopted prefabricated construction technology and were assembled on site. The framework of 3,000 square meter portable buildings used as medical technology building and ICU wards were installed simultaneously. The transportation system across the country, including highway, railway, and airline, was mobilized to deliver construction materials to Wuhan. It only took seven hours to transport 160 tons of construction materials from Juma Dien in Henan province to Wuhan, due to the fast track opened up by the China Railway. Container rooms, concrete, steel, wires and cables, anti-seepage films, sanitary wares and other building materials were swiftly transported to Wuhan day and night. Dozens of enterprises provided oil, power, daily materials, and medical equipment to support the construction. PetroChina and Sinopec refuel vehicles for construction free of charge. Staff members of the Three Gorges Group stayed in the plant all day to ensure power supply. China's leading food and agriculture firm, Kofco, provides workers with three meals a day. China's electrical appliance makers donate pharmacy refrigerators, biosafety cabinets, etc. On February 4, Wo Shenshan Hospital was delivered and accepted the first batch of patients infected with coronavirus. On February 8, Lei Shenshan Hospital, twice the size of Wo Shenshan Hospital, began to accept the first batch of patients after three expansions. It is fast and quality is also ensured. The two hospitals have a number of professional medical rooms with various functions. Equipped with the most advanced medical equipment in China, providing a safer and more reliable environment for patients and medical staff. The Chinese government concentrates resources on major tasks. Chinese people make every endeavor to make it possible. This is how China combats the coronavirus.